I'm um, the CEO of PDMS, we're a software engineering business um, and we've been on the Isle of Man for almost 30 years doing very varied engineering um, projects of, um, in different sectors, including actually in the very early days when I first came to the island, we were very heavily involved or I was particularly involved in analysing climate data um, to look at the potential for wind energy on the Isle of Man, which at the time, 30 years ago, looked like a really great idea. Um, it's 30 years on and we still haven't quite got around to exploiting it, but and PDMS as a business has moved on to do many other things as well. But um, but in the context of the debate we're having now, um, I'm also the chair of the Zero Carbon Group at the Chamber of Commerce, which is a, across the whole, you know, all industry sectors. My position now is that we're right in the middle of a really major technological and economic change and I think it's time for us on the Alamant to really get to see that get behind it and make sure we benefit from it as well because it's not just um, it's not just something which is has costs associated with it it's a major opportunity to invest in the future and benefit from that in the long term. I'm naturally an optimist and, and I'm a believer in, in our ability to adapt and innovate and find ways to deal with problems. I think people on the Alman really value the environment that we have and don't really want to degrade it. Um, it's part of the reason a lot of people are here or stay here and and you know and are so proud of the, of, of what we've got to offer. So I think it's a natural thing, you know, whether it's cleaning plastic, you know, cleaning litter off the beach, activity that we're all keen to participate in, that's that community aspect of it, I think, at a local level is really important. If we have a huge resource of wind energy, which we do, which is going to which is a, a long term asset, you know, then we should be planning to use it as an economic asset. You know, it's far more sensible for us to, to put floating wind turbines in the RSC and work out how to ensure that we use that energy effectively than it would be to try and find gas in the RSC because it, one is, you know, one is harking back and is, is something which is going to be expensive and increasingly um, likely to be a stranded asset. The other is, is something which is going to be about the way the world economy is going. The UK needs more and more and more green energy. So we should be planning to maximise our ability to produce energy, regardless of whether it's consumed here. And I think that the, the tendency to, to, to look at, for example, wind energy in terms of well, what are we going to use on the island and how is that going to uh, impact the stability of our grid is kind of missing the point. You know, we should be looking at that in the same way we would have done 30 years ago if it, you know, when we were thinking about, you know, about the, uh, uh, I don't know, if we found lots of oil in the RSC, for example, we'd have been exploiting that, not because we needed it for our cars on the island and we were going to build a refinery on the island and all that kind of thing. We'd have gone, no, this is a massive economic asset. You know, we can sell it. And green energy, green electricity specifically, is the oil of the 21st century. And that's something we really need to get our head around. Just tomorrow, today.